Well, the goal is to ditch everything today. All my responsibilities of being an adult, I'm ditching that today. And it's all about myself and about November Alpha right here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, sell out and uh, doing something completely useless without any purpose. I'm gonna go to buoy 43012, which is a NOAA buoy for weather monitoring and wind and wave. And uh, it's about four hours out. I think the wind is gonna let us go there, but uh, definitely it's gonna be upwind. And of course, on the way back, it should go well. Let's try to do that. nautical miles from the 43012 buoy, NOAA buoy, and uh, it's gonna take another, I don't know, now and a half to get there. I just did a tack earlier because uh, the angle was not good. I was, you know, I was getting off and off. So now we have a little bit better angle. So I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna be able to hit the buoy uh, without another tack. But the other day, somebody asked me if I had a GPS on board. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> good question. So just for fun, I started counting. So I have, I have my iPhone, that's one GPS. Right here in there, I have a PLB, personal locator beacon. It has a GPS. I got my inReach right here in my pocket and it has a GPS. And then uh, on the boat, I have uh, my Garmin chart plotter has a GPS. I have also a depth sounder, it has a GPS on it. And then I have my iPad, has another GPS. Then I have my uh, VHF marine radio, has AIS, and that works with the GPS. So I have, I have a total of seven GPS. <laughs> that's a bit ridiculous, but I think that's what sailing is today with, with all the electronics. Every, it's so cheap, the GPS chip is so cheap that they could put that everywhere. So there you go, seven GPS on board. All right, let's do a little bit more sailing. I'm gonna chill, relax, not do much. And uh, hopefully I can capture a good picture of uh, this buoy. I got the coordinate online and I entered them into the GPS. So hopefully I didn't make a mistake here. And uh, as you know, a single digit off and it sends you to South China Sea. I see the buoy straight ahead, so uh, I got everything right. Quite frankly, I'm surprised to find it. I don't know. Maybe it's not that hard, but uh, I don't know. I'm just glad that I can see it. So we're going uh, straight for it right now. We should be there in like five, 10 minutes. I'm gonna go around it and then go back home. There it is. Here's there's a buoy. All right. Company here. Little bird is tired. Maybe 
Maybe you want to ride back home. There we go. For a bird like this, I'm sure there's no food there and there's not much to drink. So that little guy is starving. He's always there. Hopefully, uh, he'll stick around for the ride. I don't mind. I kind of enjoy the company. I got my uh, big screecher up and we're doing about six knots. The wind died down a little bit and little bird is gone. Ah, oh, that sucks. There's little bird. He's flying between the sails. Oh, he just found a new spot. That dude is gonna stick around, I'm pretty sure. I don't want to bother him too much, but... New spot for a little bird. He just flew around the boat for a minute and then uh, landed there. So, we don't see the coast yet, but uh, we should get there in a couple hours. Little bird is getting quite comfortable here. Just landed on my foot. What am I supposed to do now? <laughs> That's all right. Passenger 43012 has his eyes closed. Well, passenger 43012 is in the cabin. Having a comfortable ride. Good for you. Still sailing. Uh... <laughs> Going back to Sarasota, just a little bit, uh, a little bit over uh, an hour to go, and I got my screecher up. A big sail. We're going downwind, and we're surfing a little bit. It's really nice, nice round waves. The sun is coming down. That's DC speed, and my speed is 7.9, but it gives my average speed over 10 minutes. So that's kind of nice when you're surfing, because otherwise the speed is all over the place. So it really gives me. A better idea so my average speed over the last 10 minutes is 7.1 knot and little bird is still in there hey little bird is in there So passenger 43012 flew away and made it. So we're like almost there. So I guess he smelled the land and just took off. All good. Did uh, about nine hours of sailing, so that's good. <laughs>